Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. We are so pleased to have in the studio with us Dowsing. Dowsing. Uh, your latest album is OK, which was recorded using almost an entirely new lineup. Um, could you guys speak just to how this combination of people came together? Sure. Um, so I've known Mike on bass for a long time. He was in a band called Brave Bird, and Dowsing used to go on tour with Brave Bird. So I met Mike. Uh, we went to Iceland together, and then I was like, hey, you should be in Dowsing because we were going through a lineup change. Yeah, and he said yes. What led to the trip to Iceland? Uh, he was soul searching. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he can he can he can talk more about That's, that. It, it was just a it was know. a phase. <laughs> uh, his Iceland phase, his Iceland period. <laughs> um, and then Mikey was in the band already, uh, and then so he's there. Uh, yeah, he's the original lead guitarist. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Will, we met on the internet, and look at him, he's a meme. 
Yeah. Wait, you, you, he met you on the internet? Yeah, but I mean, I've lived here. I went to Dowsing's first, like, few shows just mm-hmm. because, like, I'm from uh, the area. I'm from the suburbs. Nice. Down south. So, yeah, I've been to a few shows and uh, I was just looking for bands because I dropped out of school and I was like, I just want to go on tour full time <laughs> and, like, they wanted a tour full time, so it was just kind of worked out. So it was good. So, <laughs> yeah. so you were a fan before you were in the band. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know that they put out two records after their first EP. But <laughs> <laughs> good fan. Yeah, I'm a good so. fan, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So you weren't really intimidated by playing with them then, since you didn't know they had two records? Oh, no. No, not at all. I mean, even if they did, uh, I pride myself in um, just being a musician. So mm-hmm. I feel comfortable stepping in with whoever wants me to play with them. Has there ever been any musician you've met where you have been intimidated by them? Like Namdi. Wait, Namdi. which one? Namdi. Namdi? Yeah, Namdi uh, Ogbenaya, if you know him. I actually uh, don't know him. Monobody, uh, Namdi bands. Supers, Duper Secret Slide Project. He's in more like, bands than all of us. Yeah, he's... We're <laughs> all in, like, ten bands. All of his, all of his bands are amazing. He's, uh, he's an intimidating person to play with, for sure. What was it like when you first met him? Anything crazy happened or anything really embarrassing yeah. happened? No, he's just a really nice person. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. so you're just intimidated by him because of the skill, not oh, his yeah, personality. Oh, yeah, insane. Nice. That's insane. Awesome. Uh, let's hear another song, shall we? Sure. <laughs> We're in the studio with Dal Singh. Um, now, you guys put out your album on Asian Man Records, is that correct? Correct. Yeah. So have you interacted with Mike Park a lot? Love Mike Park. I know. I used to listen to Skank and, Ki- uh, Skank and Kickle. Skank and Pickle <laughs> back, back in the that's day. That's not the name. I know. I, well, and when you skank, you kick, so Skank and Kickle. No, uh, were you guys Skank and Pickle fans at all back in the day? I mean, I think Mikey and Mikey Will might have listened to it a little more. I like Skank and Pickle, but yeah. it wasn't, wasn't my top. Ska band. Sorry, yeah. Mike. Who was your Who was your top <laughs> ska band? My top ska band. I mean, it was the Aquabats when they were a ska band. Yeah. And then like Less Than Jake. Oh yeah, Less Than Yeah, I'm a Florida guy, so Less Than Jake for me for yeah. sure. I'm a huge Flaming Tsunamis fan. Yeah. Also huge sick. Flaming Tsunamis, uh, Choking Victim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was probably Op Ivy for me. <laughs> oh yeah, Op Ivy's kind of like the yeah, the original, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, it was funny when I was little. I always thought you had to have horns to be a ska band, which is not the case. Oh, and they no. have uh, they have a sax on Bad Town, I guess, right? But that's about it. Um, yeah, you think Operation Ivy will ever reunite? They already did. Yeah, they have. Wait, they have? In two thousand six, two thousand seven. Oh man, like, way way back. I have yeah. no idea. They only played like one show. I think it was for a benefit. 
I feel stupid now. <laughs> no, it, you shouldn't feel stupid because it was like so poorly like broadcasted. Yeah. yeah. Did Did you watch it at all? Or no? I mean, like it was it was just like not shared. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. It was just kind of a you had to know. You had to have MySpace. You know. <laughs> these two, I think these two like Suicide Machines a lot too. Yeah, they're pretty much the best band. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You've heard you've heard it here. Yeah. So you're in, you're in good company <laughs> on uh, on Asian Man. Then that's pretty cool. Um, you guys ready for the next one?
Audio Tree Live. We are here in the studio with Dal Singh. Um, you guys tour in a school bus, correct? Not a van. A mini school bus. A mini school bus. <laughs> uh, did, when you got that, when you obtained that vehicle, did you have to customize it any any kind of way to suit a rock man? Uh, yeah, I mean, when we got it, it was just a regular old school, like, mini school bus. Yeah. And then we, like, it was my dad and I, mostly my dad, actually. Um, he got it from the high school that he works at. Mm -hmm. Um and we just kind of, him and I just kind of went at it, like took seats out, yeah. arranged some stuff, built a loft. Did you, a, a loft in there? Yeah, there's a loft bed in there, oh, and nice. we put all our gear underneath the loft. How do you decide who gets that bed? Do you guys like switch out? You call it. First come, first serve, you know? <laughs> Will, Will <laughs> usually dibs. calls it. He yeah. usually kind of <laughs> flounders up there. and just... I'm pr I get bored pretty easily, though. <laughs> like an hour and a half, two hours of being up there, you kind of lose sense of life, and then you kind of have to just sit upright for a second because mm -hmm. moving in transit on this, like, cloud it can kind of be disorienting you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. is there enough room to at least read or anything like oh, that oh it's there? perfect yeah. nice yeah it sometimes like, i play super nintendo up there it's like being in a coffin a really nice coffin <laughs> <laughs> wait do you really play super nintendo up there yeah what yeah. game yeah, what, uh, what games do you guys have in the in the bus you would know tons He's got i've been playing um breath of fire right now wait bre oh breath of fire yeah. said so, nice that's a good one do you have my friends and i were just talking about the it's like an old Spider-Man game, but you can play Venom and Spider-Man, so it's it's Ooh. like the black costume, red costume thing. Yeah. Um, I don't have that one. Yeah, you guys should look into getting that. One. Maybe hit up GameStop on the way to your your next city. Maybe. Yeah. Is it was it Ultimate Carnage or? Uh, Maximum Carnage. Maximum is the Carnage. Game. Yeah. yeah. Are yeah. you guys big comic book fans at all? Um, I dabble. Yeah. 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 Do you have you dabbled enough to see Civil War? Captain America? Not yet. We talked about it the other night. night but then we didn't. No, we didn't. Why didn't you? Um, I don't because remember. we just... <laughs> we had really, other really things to question? do, okay? We were, we were doing <laughs> things. What if you're actually superheroes and it's like, oh, someone you know. was... Yeah, someone was causing trouble. We had to go take care of that. And Man, if we were superheroes, oh, crap, we're not doing session. a really good job go. at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, just because you're superhero... I mean, just like there are people who are bad at their job, I'm sure there's superheroes who are horrible at it, too. Aquaman, for one. Yeah. Probably pretty bad at his job. Yeah. yeah. He got his arm cut off at one point, I think, right? Yeah, you're not a good hero if you get your arm cut yeah. off like that. Got a harpoon in it. You can't do much with that. Yeah. Yeah, no. Go spear fishing. That's about it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's do another song, shall we? Sure.
one of them From all the outside Tree Live. We're here in the studio with Dow Singh. Um, Eric, you were born and raised in South Jersey, correct? Oh, I'm, I'm from Central Jersey. Ah, uh, Central Jersey. Queens before. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, um, Jersey being a small state and everything. Yeah, pretty have, much south. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you can get to the south in, I don't know, 40 minutes or something like that. Um, have you guys played at all in Philly, um, I guess among the kind of burgeoning punk scene going on there? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, times. yeah. We've been there a lot. Yeah. Um, what, what are your thoughts on that in general? I know a lot of people kind of detest the word punk or emo or whatever it is, you know, in a scene, but do you guys feel like there is kind of this renaissance going on up there? Man, um, I never I never knew anyone didn't like being called punk. Well, I mean, <laughs> or I, I should say pop punk. I guess oh, that's the yeah. thing that people, the label people don't like quite as much. But so, uh, for yeah, genres in general, do you feel like, um, I don't know, just what are your thoughts on what's going on in Philly like, with those bands and everything? Well, like uh, Jank and Kississippi from there. Mm -hmm. um, there's some other bands like Pocket and Marge. Yeah. Uh, a lot of cool, like a lot of friends. Yeah, just definitely. The Spirit of the Beehive the Spirit from Beehive. Philly is like one of the best bands right now. They're like my absolute favorite. Yeah, Philly has like next to like Chicago and like mm -hmm. DC and New York like they they're up there with like the best of them you know what I mean yeah totally yeah and their scene right now is probably like better than most <laughs> yeah like better than most big cities right? do, so, you, shows always super yeah. Yeah. do you think there's uh, any kind of uh, logic or reason behind that like why Philly and you know not another city is there anything at play in there I know it's a heady it's question that, yeah it's all that brotherly love <laughs> It is the city of brotherly love. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, a lot to do with, I mean, out, in the east, out on the East Coast, there's mm -hmm. a lot of concentration of people. Yeah. Um, and, like, Philly is obviously right there, near New York City. Um, but the city of Philly, I feel like just, I don't know, a lot of house shows happen there. Mm -hmm. And I think that helps the scene thrive. And that's kind of, every, every show we play there pretty much is a house show, and it's always just, like, a packed basement. Yeah, we're going to play there on Memorial Day, and I think it's going to be, Lit, as the kids say. I thought you were going to say Lit, we're playing with the band. We're playing <laughs> with Lit. Um, playing we're playing with, with lit. lit at the 7 Eleven at uh, 33rd Stop and that. Liberty Bell. Stop. You have that. to be careful. That stuff gets out of control, those rumors, you know? Um, I, d I have hey, seen. Hey, breed at the Liberty Bell afterwards. <laughs> we're going to catch non point at. Uh, <laughs> At some other Philly, uh, a Philly hot dog stand or something like that. Yeah, half the events I get on Facebook now are just fake shows that I would actually want to go to. So <laughs> yeah, but then, but then we're actually playing dousing at the pharmacy. So that sounds like we're also playing some fake place, but that's a real place. Yeah, but that's a real <laughs> yeah. place. We're actually playing the pharmacy. So playing at a, do they have Dwayne Reed's in uh, in Philly? That's a New York thing. That's right? just is that just New York? Yeah. I don't know. Um, I think that 
I think it's just New York. It's everywhere. Yeah. I um I really do wish that Limp Biscuit show had happened, the <laughs> fictional one. I totally would have gone to it. I saw oh, them when a lot of people did go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and caused some problems. Yeah. I saw them when I was 14. I have to admit, and uh, they so, had a g- giant robot on stage and his chest open. It was actually kind of cool. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're yeah. going to Limp Bizkit, you know he's gonna pull out all the stops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's not messing around with. Uh, he's a performer. Hey. Exactly. You know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is that your Fred Durst impression? Yeah. <laughs> kind of, yeah, hey. Right. That's a new one. Chocolate this time starfish. I'm gonna let it all come out. This time I'ma stand up. <laughs> I hope we don't get sued for those lyrics. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, come on, don't cover the songs here. No, Limp, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was under parody law, because yeah. we're, yeah, yeah, we're being funny. I was just making fun of them. Your music <laughs> sucks, Mr. Durst. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go please, into the... Please uh, stop him from talking. <laughs> that's a parody, right? That's parody, right? We took, uh, we took Twitter away from him for a reason. <laughs> did you really? No, yeah, he they just did. forgot. He doesn't... No, no we tell him the password pass. every day, like and then he's times. like, you guys don't tell me the password. We tell him the password. He goes, guys, why don't you tell me the password? And that's why, so he and doesn't. That's uh, why he doesn't I don't believe us. He so he doesn't <laughs> sick Limp Biscuit on you guys uh, next time. <laughs> he just doesn't believe us. Awesome. Uh, let's go into this last song. All right. Thank you.
You're watching Audio Tree Live. We have been here in the studio with Dal Singh. Thank you guys so much for playing. That was great. You can currently get their latest album, OK, out on Asian Man Records. If you're on the East Coast, they're about to embark on a tour with Kitty Hawk. And if you're in the Chicagoland area, you can attend their album release show, which is at Narnia, correct? correct. That's on June 4th. And uh, just reach out to them via social media for the, uh, the address on that. It's one of those house shows we were just talking about. Uh, from all of us here in the studio, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to sound engineers for making us sound good. Thank you to lights and camera for making us look good. And as always, thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time. Have a great weekend. That's a clap for Kenna. <laughs> Thanks, Kenna. <laughs> and by weekend, I meant have a good Friday tomorrow because it's not the weekend yet. Thanks.